Hello, this is Glenda with Fraylands and Friends Crafts Plus. Tonight we're making a bird. Okay. I'm going to be starting at the base with the stump. Yes, I will be putting I will be putting clay on that, so just go ahead. Not worried about there being a few bumps in this trunk because trunks have bumps. <laughs> They do, they do. And again, just like with the cardinal, I am working from the bottom up because the bird sits on top of the trunk or the stump. It's a stump, which is part of a trunk. You know what I mean. I'm just being goofy. Okay, I do want to cover this part. It's not part of the stump, but it is part of the ground that the stump sits on. And I might, if you sweet talk me, no, I'm kidding. I think I will put both grass and flowers on the base to make it a little pretty and interesting. It's a very small stump to a very small tree, as big as this bird is. <laughs> That's okay. We are just going to go with it. We're not going to worry about having to be perfect. We're just going to make it perfectly fun. And as real as we can, but there's small sticks in the ground. We used to go cut off little seedlings all the time. Okay. What I am doing now is I'm putting the texture on the bark, which I've never seen bark yet that's even. So my favorite tool, which a lot of people might smile at, is my toothpick. I like to use a toothpick to put, you know, for some of this texturing stuff. Not all of it, but I do use toothpicks a lot. And I don't know. I guess... I know how to use a toothpick better than I do some other things. I don't know why, but I do like to use a toothpick, so. Not sticking out too far, but there. I'm 
This one's not going to be as distinct. It'll be there, but just not as distinct. Okay. I'll work more stuff in later, but right now, I'm going to call it quits for the night. Tomorrow we'll work on the body, which will include the tail, and then the feathers above that, the wings, all of it. So, that'll be tomorrow's job. Okay, I'm back. Oh, let's see. I need to get some tail feathers on this guy. Hope everybody's had a good day. That one's supposed to happen. <laughs> one tail feather broken too. But he fixed back up. We will not be getting this guy painted tonight, because I got to thinking, there's a lot of, I can't just paint it all one color, because it's not one color. So it's going to take a little time to make the wings separate and I'm going to put them on as a layer on top of this. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just putting a layer of clay on here that I will work on as becoming feathers later. Or I will put texture in to look like feathers later. Every time I do these, it's another experiment. <laughs> it's never all one, one thing like another. I always say I'm not doing how-to's. I'm doing experiments and hoping you enjoy <laughs> and possibly try your own experiments. Let's get some breast on this guy or gal, whichever the case may be. This is going to have to blend in.
wanted to make sure to get that kind of hood effect on him here. Sorry if I pull out of your line of sight here. I get I get a little involved in what I'm doing and I forget. Hey, there's people out there. <laughs> I don't forget you, I just momentarily concentrate a little more on this, which I kind of need to do. wings. I've been looking into the into getting a GoPro or a GoPro type of camera that I could put on a strap around my head so you guys could get the same view I'm pretty much getting when I work on these. Right now I'm working on that wing and you're only seeing the back of my hand most of the time. And I know that that isn't the way I want you to see it. I want you to see what I'm doing. So I was looking at one today, and there's a few possibilities, but it is something that I'm looking forward to in the future. Fairly soon, I hope. <laughs> so uh, just bear with me. Um, I'm going to get one.
Okay, I got some feet on there, and supposedly he's sitting on them. He's well, he's sitting on the the part that attaches to the body. I've got a lot of yeah. I've got a lot of of texturing to do on this guy for his wing, well, for his whole body, and eyes and a beak. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to work on those tomorrow and if we have time if I can fit it in and still make it make sense then I will try to go ahead and paint it tomorrow as well. I shouldn't make birds that are small so big. I don't know if it would be any easier to work with them on a smaller level but anyway. With any luck, this little guy will turn out looking like a sparrow. His feet are not what I would love, but they are what they are. So, I'll be back tomorrow and we'll hopefully get some more work done on this guy. Usually when I take these on, they are projects. That's kind of the way I end up doing things. So, that's it for me for tonight. I worked... Well, last night I did the trunk and stuff, and tonight I did the bird. So, he's still got a lot to go as far as texturing. He needs some eyeballs, and he needs a beak. So, that's going to be tomorrow. I will be texturing and putting feathery looks to his feathers. But for tonight, I'm done. <laughs> so, I will see you tomorrow. Everybody, please, keep warm, keep safe, smile and wave. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> Give me some emojis. I always beg. <laughs> I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Love you all. Good night.